How's it, folks? <laughs> this is my trail report from the 25th to the 28th of March. Uh, we did a primitive trail in the Timbavati Private Nature Reserve. Uh, once again, we did it on the Batalier property. Uh, so it was myself as, as first rifle and Rogan as second rifle. What a lacquer trail. So this one was slightly quiet um, game-wise, but the actual trail itself was fantastic. It was a bunch of lads, a bunch of mates who booked the trail and just, you know, went walking in the bush. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Um, they've actually got a, a piece of property in the bush over here. So uh they're you know they're, they're bush savvy people so it was so lucky to have uh, a bunch of guys come there that were interested um and that just you know loved the bush so it was a lot of fun um so day one we left batalia property and uh we decided to sleep in the mopono river so we followed the mopono river until we found a, a nice campsite it was actually so nice because uh we've had some good rain so the water is still accessible and we had water right there at our campsite in essence water on tap we just had to dig a little bit and the water was right there it was it was quite luxurious um and then during the night we heard some lions calling around and hyenas visited camp which was quite nice um and then day two we decided to head into an area with slightly larger open sections and we found this one campsite with this nice, beautiful termite mound. And it's this massive termite mound. And just in front of it, a nice open area. So good visibility, good everything. It was, it was nice. It was quite a, um, quite a track to get there in the day. Because the grass is so high. So it's quite a slog to get through um, that long grass. When you walk through some of the Gabbro Plains, it's just grass everywhere. And it's quite heavy walking. But the reward was incredible because it's this termite mound with this beautiful open white sodic soil. And as the sun sets and hits it, it just creates this different kind of orange. It's beautiful. Um, but then during the night, um, I got woken up by the person on night watch. And he, he shook me up. He shook me awake nice and softly. And I could say, hey, Leighton, there's a buffalo. I'm like, okay, cool. But I'm expecting the buffalo to be quite far. And as I wake up, I can hear it just like. And it's busy eating the bush behind me. <laughs> so it was relatively close. Not anything to be stressed about. But I just woke up and um, the buffalo was quite relaxed. He just ate and, and carried on walking past. So that was quite, quite, quite eventful and quite nice. Um, but that was, you know, unfortunately the only animal encounter we had on that trail but like i said it was just it was fantastic so from there um we decided to walk back towards the mopono river for our final night um yes and then again it was so luxurious because we had water right there we just spent well we spent the night in the same river but in a different area and yeah, you know, we just it was phenomenal the water was right there it was again luxurious but as we started to look on the horizon, this cloud just started rolling over. This deep, dark cloud started rolling over. And initially, before we could see the cloud, we just saw flashes of light. And we thought it might have been a, a spotlight from a game drive vehicle or something. And then as it got close, closer, we realized it was lightning. Yo, and this cloud just started like this ominous feeling came with it and just started coming closer and closer and now we're nervous because the water table in the river is already quite high so if we do get any type of substantial rain the, the river is going to flow and it's going to chase us out so we started dev devising plans we walked up to up to the river ba river bank at the top and I found a nice area and we we're stringing up tops and getting ready and you know getting prepared for this incredible ominous lightning storm cloud that came over and murphy has a sense of humor because the more you prepare the less rain you're going to get and we had plans a b c through everywhere and tops were set up and ready but we're sitting in the riverbed and we said okay let's just wait and see what happens that would be our, our plan b if the rain does come and it starts flowing 
So we just sat there and sat there in this ominous cloud with all the lightning and thunder rolled over. And I think we had about five drops of rain. <laughs> and that was it. So it was uh, it was quite eventful <laughs> running around trying to set up and, and do stuff. And it, it created a very cool atmosphere and quite a nice bonding experience for the group. So it was very, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, the more you prepare, the less rain you're going to get. So, um, yeah, that was that was our final night. And the following day, we, we didn't have too much of a walk and we headed back to camp. So, fantastic trail. <laughs> it really was fun from a, a nice buffalo in camp at night to, you know, the the banter and the, the humor that came with the cloud as it started rolling over. So, it was a, a great trail and a great group. But thanks. Thanks for listening to my trail report. Catch you soon.